What's up, everybody? It's Phil Moore, host of Nick Arcade, and you're watching Jammin' Music Man. Oh, it's the only place to get your groove on. What's up guys, it's me Jammin' Music Man, welcome to my special new video, and in this video, we're going to be watching episode 2 of Stranger Things, and from what we saw in episode 1, basically, uh, there's this, like, alien monster, somehow it escaped from this, like, government facility, and, uh, these group of kids, one night, they're down in the basement playing Dungeons and Dragons, and soon, you know, one of the kids' moms say, hey, lights out, time to go to bed. So the kids end up going home, and this one kid, he ends up getting uh, followed home by this alien monster, and he ends up getting kidnapped. So they spend the rest of episode one, the sheriff and the kids' friends, they're trying to find them, and there's also this, like, mysterious girl. We don't know if she's escaped from some government place or from some hospital we don't know but all only thing we do know is that she uh she's got telekinetic powers and uh this uh social service lady shows up uh she was coming to pick the girl up because the girl she arrived at like this diner and the guy who ran the diner he ended up calling social services so uh, the social service lady shows up she ends up shooting the guy that owns uh the, the diner that this mysterious girl was at. So the girl, she ends up running away and we end episode one with this mysterious girl in the woods uh, with these kids. So what happens in episode two? I'm about to find out. So enough of the chit chat. Let's watch the show. Watching episode dos, episode two of Stranger Things. Uh, just gonna give you a little short, little synopsis of what happened in, happens in this episode. The kid that's missing, they still haven't found him. His mom's looking for him, played by Winona Ryder. The older brother's trying to find him. The sheriff of the town's trying to find him. Still no luck. Uh, also, another key thing that happens in this episode: this mysterious girl with the short hair and the telekinetic powers. Uh, she ends up staying at one of the kids' home, the kid with the sister in high school and the parents and the little baby. She's staying at their house, but the family don't know. Only the other kids know. So the black kid and the kid with the curly hair, they end up coming over. Uh, it's been like a couple of days. They see that she's still there. The black kid's like, I'm gonna tell your mom. She's going to call 911. She knows what to do. And that's when this girl lets out her Professor X telekinetic powers. She ends up shutting the door and locking it. But she sees this picture of the missing kid and all the other kids. They got this picture of, uh, you know, they want some science fair project in school. But she sees that missing kid and immediately she seemed like she knew who that kid was. Uh, but she didn't say where he's at, we don't know. But another thing that happened, uh, the kid's house that she's staying at, she asked him, or she asked her, what's your name? And all she does is point to the number 11. She's got the number 11 tattooed on her hand. Why? I don't know. We're just going to have to keep watching. But another thing that happens, uh, the kid with the sister that's in high school, she ends up going to like this high school party. It's just a couple of friends. She's got this crush on this guy and uh, she also has this friend that comes along with her. And she's a bit of a, you know, she don't drink, she don't party. She's got the big thick 80s glasses. 
She ends up cutting her hand trying to open up a beer and her hands bleeding. So while all the other kids are in the house doing God knows what, doing whatever, she's by the pool by herself. That's when a drop of blood drops in the swimming pool and the colors of the swimming pool change. They change colors and uh, that's when we hear this weird alien sounds. But one last thing that happens, Winona Ryder, she gets another mysterious phone call. She hears her, her kid uh, breathing in the background of this phone, but she also hears this weird uh, alien sounds. And there's also this one scene when she gets off the phone, it's like some sort of alien monster thing is trying to come through the walls. Kind of reminded me of uh, that scene in I can't remember what horror movie it was, but you know, there was something trying to come through the walls. But all in all, it was a good episode. I love the synth music that's in this show. If you like craft work or Tangerine Dream, if you like that that type of electronic music, you're gonna love this show because it fits in perfect with it. But guys, be sure to like this video, leave me a comment of what you think of this episode, be sure to subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next time.